Canadian volunteer mission organization Miracle Air celebrated the debut of their new float plane on Sunday afternoon, which will soon be in action, conducting emergency medical flights from remote villages along the coast of Nicaragua. We'll be going into the isolated communities that are on the water and picking up the patients. We work together with the local health government officials, you know, there. They, they notify us when there's an emergency and then we fly in. And this aircraft is um, amphibious, which means it has wheels, so it can also land on runway. Mm -hmm. So the hospitals um, have, are in cities where there's runways, so then we'll take them from uh, remote communities on the water to the hospitals and land there, and then they're transported by ambulance to the hospitals. It's actually a Canadian-made airplane. It was made in 2005. It's called a found bushhawk. It has no wing strut on it, so we can move stretchers into the aircraft really easily. It has uh, good performance on the water, which is really important. Um, the back seats are easily removed, so we can put a stretcher in. The back seats can come out and even be stored in the floats. So those are some of the really unique features of this airplane that makes it perfect for what we're doing. Nancy, who was born in Nicaragua, says this kind of assistance is something that locals have been wanting for a long time. In one of our visits, when we were surveying the area where we're going to be working, um, some of the people told us that they had been praying for years, you know, that something like this would happen for the community because they didn't have access to, you know, uh, transportation and many accidents happened or people would lose their lives and they were in tears, you know, just to know that somebody had uh, the desire to come and help them. And they said, we'll be praying that you can come back as soon as, as possible. If you'd like to give funds or find out more about the organization, you can visit miracleair.org. For Carstent News in Kelowna, I'm Laura Brooks.